Hello, everybody. I uh, just want to take a few minutes to walk through the course syllabus and also take a peek at the course Blackboard site um, just to, again, clear up any uh, kind of initial, uh, maybe to anticipate some questions you might have uh, before we dive in. I think, again, I think a lot of this stuff is, is self-explanatory, especially, again, if you've used Blackboard before, but um, I'm not assuming anything. So let's take a minute and, and look through this. So I have up on the screen here the, um, the course syllabus, which you can find under its own syllabus tab on the course Blackboard site. Uh, here you can see my name. Uh, again, I am Dr. Jeff Winkle. Um, I'm not gonna have regular office hours. I, I mean, I have on here um, Fridays uh, from 8.30 to 1.30 p.m. But just kind of given the kind of the state of things where we are right now, um, if you wanna stop by, again, I would love to meet you um, uh, but make an appointment and come by my office. I'm at, on the third floor of Finkelstein Hall, formerly called Main Hall in Office 360F. Um, so yeah, come visit me. It's, it's lonely over here these days. Um, the best way to get a hold of me is by my GRCC email address, uh, jeffreywinkle at grccedu. Just kind of note the, the spelling of Jeffrey. It's the R before the E here. Sometimes those are swapped um, when somebody has that name. Um, so as I said in the... Um, in the welcome video, which if you haven't viewed that, I would say um, watch that first and then come to this video. Um, we're going to be focusing mainly on the Greek myths um, while dipping our toes into maybe some Roman mythology at the end of the of the course, um, a little Mesop Mesopotamian Egyptian stuff at the at the beginning. Um, but in, in terms of my own video lectures and what we'll be focusing on, it's going to be you know ninety eight percent looking at the ancient Greeks. Um, we'll be reading lots of stories, lots of literature in different genres. We'll be talking about uh, myth as religion. Um, I'm very much kind of a text in context kind of guy. That is the, 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 the way to best understand these stories is to best understand the people that produce them. So well, lots of archeology, span some history, some philosophy where it, um, where it, it, it fits. Um, it, it's, a, it's, a great, it's a great subject. And I like to sometimes describe uh, mythology as kind of 10 humanities course wrap, courses wrapped up into one. You get art, you get architecture, you get drama, you get tragedy, comedy, you get epic, you get poetry, history, archaeology, music, philosophy. And all, um, all of these things are, are crammed into this one broad umbrella, uh, under this broad umbrella of a course. Um, so uh, I hope you're looking forward to it. I, I certainly am. Um, I'll, I'll let you look at the, the learning outcomes on your own. Um, I also mentioned in the welcome video, um, I'm asking you to to purchase two texts, and the sooner that you can get them, the, the, the better, particularly uh, for the, the shortened semester that we have. So Stanley Lombardo's translation of, of, the, of the Odyssey, um, please, if you, can, if you can swing it, get that uh, translation. If you have another one you have um, on hand and want to keep that, that's fine. Uh, but again, I will be using this one, this uh, translation when it comes to um, referencing it in lectures and on uh, tests and quizzes. Um, the Barry Powell text, uh, the classical myth, um, the eighth edition um, from Pearson. This will be our anchor text, uh, which will be, um, uh, I'm asking you to read something from this, this text pretty much every week uh, of, the, of the semester, and uh, we'll jump right into it, so get this. Um, if you can find an earlier edition that's cheaper if you want to save money, that's fine. That's not that big of a deal. Um, sometimes the page number references that I might make on the Blackboard site or lecture won't, uh, won't match up. Um, but uh, if you're able to get the, the latest edition, um, please do so. If not, I'm sympathetic to wanting to save uh, money. Um, yes, bl the Blackboard site uh, is going to be our, um, the place where you're going to find everything. Um, the weekly assignments tab, we'll, we'll take a look at it, will be the most important one where, you can, where you'll, you'll see everything that I'm asking you to view, read, uh, take um, over uh, the course of, of, each, of each week. Um, the way I, I assign attendance, um, the way we kind of consider attendance, this is an asynchronous course. Again, I'm not going to be having live Zoom meetings or anything like that. So your attendance score will be based on your timely submission of your assignments and the grading of those assignments uh, along the way. Uh, more on that in just a second. Um, the course, in terms of kind of points breakdown, it's worth a total of a possible 1,000 points. Um, so your participation, this is your, really your attendance, your participation, uh, your attendance to discussion sheets, your answers to online forums at the end of the day uh, worth a, a possible 200 points. Uh, reading quizzes, which I'll say more about in just a moment, uh, worth a possible 200 points. Uh, every reading that I ask you to do, I'll ask you to take a short timed reading quiz on that reading. Again, all on the Blackboard site. 
Uh, I'll MSU you do one research, kind of formal paper. Um, I'll introduce that about halfway through our time together, not something you need to worry about right now. And we'll have two formal tests, the, the midterm and the final exam. And just by the nature of our course, these will be um, take home essay based uh, um, uh, tests. And uh, I'll say more about those. I'll, I'll, I'll give a, a brief inter, uh, introduction to both of those tests as they get near, as they come near and give you a better idea of how to prepare for them. And uh, so you can go into both of those tests with your eyes wide open. Um, just a note about my grading scale, just as I've, as I've uh, learned from experience, uh, my grading scale is slightly different than what I think some students typically encounter at GRCC, uh, maybe slightly more demanding. Um, so in terms of you know, the 1,000 possible points, uh, 950 points to 1,000 points, that is 95% to 100% is an A, uh, 900 points to just under uh, 950, so 90% you know, to just shy of... Um, 950, 95% is an A minus. And as I understand it, that's a little bit more demanding. I, I, I've learned that um, most classes might have a, a 93 to 100 be a straight A, and then you drop down to the A minus. Um, mine's a little bit more demanding th uh, than that, a little kind of more stricter straight scale. So um, I don't think you'll find that I'm a particular kind of you know, harsh, um, you know, kind of two pistols in my hand kind of grader. Uh, but I do think that a straight A should um, be a reward to work that is a, a above and beyond. So just take note of that, and so there's no surprises uh, at the end of the, the end of the semester. My lead assignment policy: um, um, I mean, I will be expecting that you complete each week's work by the end of that week. Um, and uh, at, once we get going, my general policy is that I won't accept late work, or, I, or if I do accept it, it will be at a penalty. Um, I know it's a struggle of, of, for sometimes for students to get the books and, and get them in a timely fashion. So I'll be a little bit lenient with the, kind of the late assignment policy um, as we get started. But once we get at least a couple of weeks in, I'll expect that everybody has the text and they're able to uh, kind of focus on every week's work within that week. Um, I, I very likely just given kind of the contracted uh, um, semester, I won't be offering kind of extra credit um, or really partial credit once we get into the semester. Um, so uh, I mentioned participation, kind of your attendance grade is based on, on your, um, your uh, uh, completion of, of, weekly, of weekly discussion sheets, um, turning in whatever I'm asking you to turn in. Each week we'll have what I call a big idea forum question and um, uh, kind of a, a big uh, a thought question that I, I ask to try to sum up the major themes of that particular week. And um, your response, I'll grade each of your responses according to this ru rubric. Uh, 25 points is kind of you knock it out of the park, um, then down to 15, 5, and 0 points, uh, you know, based on the quality and comprehensiveness of your answers. You can read kind of these expectations on your own. Here's our course schedule, um, kind of a brief um, overview of the major themes, which I hope to cover for, uh, for each week. Uh, like I said in the welcome video, it's a ton of stuff. So do your best to stay on top of it from the very beginning. Uh, so in week one, we'll be talking about introduction to mythology, what do we even mean by that, creation stories. We'll be, we'll be spending some time looking at um, uh, many weeks at specific gods and goddesses, Zeus and Hera. We'll see Athena, Hades, Hermes, Aphrodite, Ares, um, and down the line. Uh, starting week two, we'll start digging into Homer's Odyssey, uh, the Homeric epic, which we'll be reading in its entirety. And that will kind of dominate kind of the first half of our course together. Um, there will be a take-home midterm, kind of roughly in the center of the course, and then more information on that uh, uh, as we get down uh, closer to it. We'll be watching one film together, um, Old Brother, Where Art Thou? The Coen Brothers' kind of modern take on Homer's Odyssey. After the midterm, we'll be looking at uh, kind of uh, Greek mythology as religion, and this fascinating topic which we call mystery cults. We'll dig into some Greek tragedy. Uh, many of our, our, our best-known Greek uh, myth, myths and stories come from the stories that the Greeks themselves put on stage. And so we'll be reading uh, a few of these famous Greek tragedies, Oedipus the King, um, usually more commonly known as Oedipus Rex, which just means Oedipus the King in Latin. That's its, uh, that title has survived for some reason. Euripides, Alcestis, and, and Bacchae, two other wonderful stories for the stage. And then we'll end our, um, our time together focusing on, you might call kind of the greatest hits in terms of the Greek hero stories, Perseus, Heracles, Theseus, and, and Jason. And at the very end, you'll have another take-home uh, essay exam, and um, your um, uh, final papers will be due at the very end. 
Um, a bit about, um, I don't think I covered it here, but uh, the, um, the reading quizzes. Uh, the reading quizzes will be uh, timed quizzes, and this is really to kind of keep you honest. I think you'll find that I'll give you um, plenty of time to do these quizzes, uh, but once you open them, uh, the timer will start, and I think I have, like, say, for like a 10-question quiz, I'll give you 20 minutes to complete. And I think you'll find that's plenty of time. Uh, again, let me know if, if you know the te technology glitches or you know, if it shuts off on you and or you know wrongly submits your quiz before you're done. It's very easy for me to kind of go in and fix those kinds of things. Um, but this is really just going to keep you honest. These are um, multiple choice questions um, that uh, are meant to test just kind of a basic comprehension of a particular reading or set of, of readings. I'm not out to fool you. I'm not going to dig stuff from footnotes uh, um, uh, to, uh, to throw you off track. But this is just to, to kind of keep you honest, keep you on pace with the, with the readings. And the reason they're timed is so that you're not just kind of, you know, answer flipping, answer searching through a text rather than, uh, you know, giving a good read. Um, you'll be able to attempt each quiz twice, but just know that um, the software will average the score of your two attempts. So um, you take a quiz, it'll show you how you did. I think it should also show you which ones you got wrong without giving you the answer. Again, if you get them all right, there's no need to take it a second time, um, and that score goes to your grade book. But do let me know if you have issues uh, with those uh, uh, as we kind of get into this. Um, this is technology, so there's always going to be um, problems um, that, uh, that happen. Um, but let me know in a timely fashion as best you can. All right, uh, college policies, um, support services, code of conduct, Title IX, all that stuff that you, um, which are kind of required for uh, a syllabus, these are all stuff I just call your attention to and ask you to read them on your own uh, as you as you need them all right okay uh before we i leave you here just a brief look at the syllabus so if you if you if you if you look at the 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 course blackboard site this is what you'll see when you, when you come to it this is kind of the student view uh, a welcome page with the first announcement uh the most important link you'll you'll, you'll use is the weekly assignments um, there you'll find the folder for each week um, a tab for uh, any kind of forum discussions here. Uh, you can always check your grades. This instructor link kind of gives you my information, my email address. Uh, uh, tools and research resources will become important once we kind of get down to um, the, the, the paper assignment. Um, here's a link where you can always find a copy of the syllabus. I have a tab here for the final paper. You can look at it at your leisure. I'll introduce it formally later as we get into the course. I would say there's no reason to kind of um, burden yourself with too much stuff right now but it, this is there for you to look at right um, uh, as you see fit. Let me just open the, the weekly assignments tab. So when you come in, um, what you'll see available is an orientation folder. And in there, we'll see uh, uh, this welcome video, which I, I, um, I urge you to read. You'll also see this same video that you're watching right now. This is a little bit redundant, I suppose. Um, and then also the, the week one folder will be open. Um, and each week will we'll roughly looks something like this. Uh, so a graphic at the top, and then a short paragraph that um, just gives, gives you an idea of um, what we're, what I hope you'll accomplish and what we'll look at for the week. So here below us is, is a suggested schedule for completing the work assigned for this week. You have until 11.59 Sunday to complete all of the assignments. Again, I'll be a little lenient in these first couple of weeks, uh, but it is in your best interest to break it up piece by piece, simply to stay on top of things and get the most out of the course. And always let me know if you have questions. So here I have a suggested schedule. So, you know, for each day of the week, um, maybe accomplish this thing. Uh, I think that's the best way to learn, particularly in a, in a, a bridged course like this in terms of our time together. Um, if you try to, you know, cram everything in on Friday, you're just, it's just not going to be the best experience. You're not going to learn as much. And so if you're able, I know everybody's busy, I know people have jobs, I and mean, you have other courses and such, but if you're able, um, do your best to kind of follow this, um, to this schedule. So Monday, um, attend to just the, the first forum here where I'm just asking you to introduce yourself and you can kind of hear where people are from and what they're going into, why you're taking this class, you have a, uh, something you know, about mythology that you're particularly interested in. Um, just a, a brief paragraph uh, letting me know who you are. Um, and Tuesday, we get into the first readings chapter, one, chapters one through three in the classical myth textbook, um, a, uh, a, uh, a video lecture. And these are all, you'll find all these lectures linked to YouTube. Um, and uh, a reading quiz. Uh, this is the timed reading quiz on uh, the first reading from classical myth. And then uh, you can look at this for yourself. And then Wednesday, uh, another short video lecture, a reading and a reading quiz. Thursday, a similar kind of pattern. 
And then Friday, um, the, kind of the, the big idea question, where I ask you to um, give a thoughtful answer to kind of a big uh, thematic question that gets at, at some of the uh, core elements of the subject for that um, week, or the, the themes for that week. Um, and let me know if you have any questions, shoot me an email, um, give me a call um, if, that, um, if, if, you, if you like that better. Uh, yeah, the best way to get a hold of me is through email, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. All right, see ya.